Hello guys and welcome back, it's Moe's and this is another player review. I'm back at it with Hulk, the Incredible Hulk for you today. And where to begin? This guy is, as said, the Incredible Hulk. He is incredible. I've tried him as a center mid, as a center attacking mid and as a striker for you guys. And I will let you know which one is the best. Three different formations, three different positions and you judge for yourself. So Hulk. Hulk played for me, 10 games, 9 goals, 2 assists, 3 star weak foot, preferred foot left, 4 star skill moves, decent numbers I think. Let's begin with his stats, 83 pace, 87 incredible shooting, 80 passing, 82 dribbling, 51 defending and the best attribute in this card, 89 physical. This guy is a beast, this guy is why he is called the incredible Hulk. This is why this card proves everything. Now let's get more detailed. Acceleration 84, sprint speed 83, positioning 82, I think he deserves more. Finishing 83, shot power 95, long shots 91, dribbling 82, physical 89, strength 93, and a stamina 86, I think he deserves less. This card surprises you. It is not as the attributes tell you. For example, I think the positioning is no way 82, it is minimum 87, he was there when I needed him, he was in the box every time I attacked, he had perfect positioning for a striker. And if you don't believe me, watch the clips, watch the footage, watch the goals. 95 shot power, perfect, that is his shot power, that is what you expect, 95. But what he doesn't deserve is his physicality, he does not deserve a stamina of 86. He was more like a 72 for me. He got tired in the first half when I used him as a center mid. But when I used him as a striker, he was okay. He could finish the game. So let me jump straight into this. The cons. Probably two cons with this card. You're going to have difficulty giving passes. Whether they're short or far, you're going to have difficulty with them. You're also going to have problems with his stamina. He's going to get tired first half, first 60 minutes, first 65 minutes max. He's out. Whether you put him as center mid or a center attacking mid, if you put him as a striker, he would last longer, a bit longer, till 80, till till 90. Okay, he'll end the game with you, but he'll be very tired. He wouldn't do much at the end of the game. As for his pace, I did not find it that bad. An 83 pace card, it wasn't that bad. He made runs. He was there when you needed him. That's why I put the positioning as 87, not 82. He was there when you needed him. When you gave a pass, he was there. When you needed a header, he was there. If you needed a long shot outside the box, he was there. To finish, to shoot, to do everything a striker is supposed to do. As for his 3 star weak foot, I did not have trouble using it. It was good for me. It finished. It uh, shot a long shot. It scored a long shot. It did everything a weak foot had to do, even though it was just a weak foot. And the thing that made me really like this card the thing that made me really uh, change my mind about this card, because at the beginning it was bad, it was horrible. I thought like, why would I pay 200k for this card? But the thing that changed my mind completely is when you play him as a striker. When he plays as a striker, that's a whole other story. Do not try him as center mid or a center attacking mid. As I showed you, I tried him all three positions. He plays best as a striker. Don't mind the weak foot, don't mind the pace. He will score the goals, he has incredible shot power, incredible finishing and the strength just pushes off the defenders as if he's throwing his jacket off. And now for the pros, the pros, the strength as I said, the incredible strength, that's what makes him the incredible hug. His shooting, wow, his long shots, shot power, he scored amazing goals for me, he finished it anywhere in the box, sometimes out of the box, he's the perfect striker for you. Do not mind the pace again, do not mind the weak foot and you should mind the stamina a bit but otherwise this guy is perfect this guy scores this guy makes the perfect runs for you he's the striker you want up there i preferred him over firmino i preferred him over uh, jesus and that's just to name a few brazilian strikers so for the price tag of 250k the price tag i paid i think that is a very good price for him i'm not gonna tell you yet whether you should buy him or not because I want you to watch the goals and judge for yourself. There are some pretty decent goals I've scored in this video that I personally admired Hulk for. Every touch he touched, every shot he did, every finish he shot, he scored. That is the incredible Hulk. And I think that is pretty much all you need to know about this incredible team of the week inform. So in the comments tell me what you guys think of Hulk. Is he worth it? Is he not worth it? 
is he the perfect striker if you used him or if you haven't used him and you're willing to use him tell me what you wish of him what you want from him what you expect from him and of course if you have already tried him please tell me what you think of him tell me if i said something wrong or if i, I was right so to conclude cons of hulk weak foot passing agility pros of the hulk finishing attack positioning shot power long shots and strength of course that mighty strength and my final verdict my opinion whether you should buy or not buy this player is definitely gonna be a buy for 230k on the ps4 and 245k on the xbox hope you enjoyed this i will be bringing you hazard spc next keep watching keep tuned subscribe like hit that comment tell me what you want good night for now guys I am the king and will not be. I am the king and king and will not be.